Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm coming on to share with you today these Arteza alcohol markers. Now, Arteza have been kind enough to send these out to me um, for me to review on the channel. These are their Everblend markers. Premium 60 Everblend art markers and you get the case and it's a 72 slot marker case so you get an extra 12 slots. You get the chisel tip, the fine tip and you can also buy replaceable tips for them. Um, I think they come in packs of 12 and they're 9 99 So these markers are £66.89 for the 60. What I love about them is you get the complete colour range. Now you'll all know that I love my Spectrum R pens. What I don't like about the Spectrum R pens is you buy them in like sets of say the brights or the lights or the darks. So you're not getting I mean you're paying $24.99 for is it 24 pens? And you get the I love them, love the pens, but you're not getting like a full spectrum, so you have to buy all the sets to get the full spectrum of colour, if you know what I mean. But with this, you're getting the full spectrum. Now, the case itself is really lovely. It is black, really hard wearing. Um, it comes with the handle on the top, and it also comes with the carry strap with the comfy bit for your shoulder. It is... Really, I, I really like it actually. I think it's really cracking just to carry about. I don't usually craft anywhere else than in my craft room, but if you're taking these to the caravan or on holiday, they're really compact just to carry about. You get the little pocket on the back, and it also comes with your colours. So it tells you here all the colours. Um, and I'm just going to keep that attached to the bag. But inside here, what I've done is swatch them. And I just just done a wee swatch and wrote the num wrote the colours on them. That's another thing that I like. The Spectrum R markers only come with the colour on them. However, the Everblend actually have names, which is really cool because it's hard to sometimes remember. You know, CT4, TB9. So if you're looking for a pen, you just pick out oh yeah, my my reds, my tomato reds, my yellow. Do you know what I mean? So I th I think that's I really like that. So I've swatched that out and put that in the back. So let's open it up. So you've got your two little clips on the side. Then it is velcroed like this. So you can see all your colours. So that's really cool. And it's also velcroed on both of these sides. Now, comes in this really, I like this case. It's When I've been using these, I've just been sitting at the side of me on my desk. See here, you've got your 12 spaces if you want to keep any your extra pens um, or, you know, any other maker pens or any tools or anything. So you can keep that in there. Like I said, all the pens are, I've got names on them, which I really do like. Um, and they're in this white. Now, the other thing that I like about them, if I take this out and show you, is they are triangle. So they're really easy. You know, they're really ergonomic, they're easy to hold because that's how we're, you know, that's how we naturally hold it. One, your finger goes underneath and both go on the side, so it makes it really easy. The other thing is um, they have, it shows you which end is the chisel tip and which end is the fine tip. And it also, on the, if you want, you know, if you're not wanting to look for this all the time, if you remember on the chisel tip is the end with the colour on the marker. So... Here is the fine chisel tip, fine point tip, sorry, and this is the chisel tip. Another thing, they don't really, you do, you, you can smell they're an alcohol marker, but they're not strong smelling, which if you don't like the alcohol smell, it's a really good thing. Um, They are, it tells you on each of the pens, they are ECMI AP approved, which means they're non-toxic and things as well tells you here they're blendable, replaceable tips, they're non-toxic, ideal for illustrating, sketching, colouring and crafting and they fit the 15 to 22 millimetre markers so yeah really cool um, so let's show you now 
let me just move this off to the side and I will quickly show you how these blend and they really do blend well guys the other thing I noticed as well um, now I don't want you to think that I'm putting my Spectrum Noir markers down because I'm really not, I really do love them these are a lot chunkier as I said these are easier to hold so if you do have problems um, with your grip um, they, I really do recommend these rather than these these are more chunky but these are easier to hold and the other thing I like better than these ones is if you see this is a fine tip and this is a fine tip here now I'm just I'm not putting any extra pressure on I'm doing it the exact same and if you can see I will zoom you in the fine tip on the Spectrum Noir is a lot thicker than the fine tip on the Everblend so you can really get into the fine detail with these more so than what you can with the Spectrum Noirs. I do love my Spectrum Noirs, I must admit, I really do love them, but I, I really like the fine tip on this. So, but the good thing as well is if you've already got like Spectrum Noirs or Copex or other markers, I can't speak for them, but I can speak for the Spectrum Noirs, you can blend your Everblend with the Spectrum Noirs. They do blend because they're alcohol markers. So you can blend them. So if you do have some of these Spectrum Mars, you definitely can blend the two together and they will work together. Now, as far as blending the Everblend in, so let's just take two different colours. This one is the Vermilion and this one is the Apricot. So let's just put down some of the vermilion and then go in with the apricot and you can see there's no lines they absolutely blend in perfectly so i'm not the best to color this but for you guys that are look how well that blends in no harsh lines and they're really smooth really that's one thing i noticed about them as well um and you know guys as lo i know i've been sent these products for free but i am going to tell you the truth about them if there was something i didn't like or i didn't think they were you know like blending or something like that i would definitely tell you but i love 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 their water the real watercolor brush pens so i thought you know i don't know if i'd be disappointed with these but no they are just as good Arteza have really hit the nail on the head with good value products that actually work. So yeah, watch out for these. I will be doing um, some more videos and colouring and things with them. And I will link them down in the 